From what I've read on various forums, I often get the impression that the synchronization of images to music in a PTE AV Studio presentation causes some trepidation. That the process is a time consuming thing to do and therefore a little bit of a chore. Some have even asked for an automatic way to do this. Synchronizing images is the most important part of audio visual and you really should think again if you feel it's a good idea to let a computer take over a creative process for you. When has that ever worked out well? Synchronizing images on the fly, which I'll demonstrate in a moment, is just one way to do this, but it's one that I've used for quite a number of years. In fact, with slide tape audio visual back in the 80s and 90s, it was the only way to do this. Now I'm using a few images here from an older slideshow. So after selecting the images and sorting them into a running order, let's select a piece of music and I'll drag it down and click OK. Now we need to go into the timeline, the buttons at the bottom right corner of this window. In the timeline, there's just a little preparation to do. You'll notice I've got a blank to start. I've got about just under three seconds before the title slide appears on screen. And I've clicked and dragged my music. So the start of that music lines up nicely with the start of the first slide. But now what I'm going to do is to select a second slide in the sequence and I'm going to scroll to the right and I'm going to push all of these slides way to the right. Then I'll come back to the start. Because what we're going to do is to press play on the mini player here. Then using the insert key on the keyboard or the little plus you can see just about here, we can add each of the images on the fly as we listen to the music. Now this method isn't foolproof and at times we may want to stop and adjust the odd image that we may get slightly wrong. But here's how it works. I'm going to put my cursor at the start. I'm going to press play on the mini player and I'm going to use the insert key on the keyboard. So I may not do very much talking but you can watch and listen and I think you're going to get the idea pretty quickly. So here we go. Now I'm going to stop at that point because I see no reason to continue because that is the technique. It doesn't look perfect in the mini player, but then when we play it back, it looks a lot better. Now let's take a look full screen and see exactly what a few of the results are.
So as you saw, it's pretty easy, isn't it? We listen, finger poised over the insert key, and we view the cursor, and most importantly, the peaks of the WAV file. Anytime we think we've missed the mark, we can stop, pick up that one individual slide with the little blue tab at the top, and we can move it into place and then proceed. Thanks for watching.